I'm like actually trying not to cry because it hurts really bad. If it's hurting so bad that you're crying, you need to get up and take some medicine. Mm. Does it make sense on how to choose which is right and which is wrong? It's hard. It is really hard. You have some information. You guys remember Adam? Did you know there's only eight days till Christmas break? I'm so excited. Eight days is a long time because days are long. Hello. Thank you, Pixie Pixie. Just the gingerbread boy wants to say hi to you. Here you go. <laughs> so I've been up since 8 and it's 10 o'clock and um, since I woke up or actually since this morning I'm like actually trying not to cry because it hurts really bad but my left tonsil has been like killing me and it's swollen and <laughs> it hurts so bad I can't like swallow without it hurting really bad and I tried eating food and it hurts but I'm gonna go tell my parents and see if there's anything so my parents are in, their, are in their room right now, and they said they'll come down in a little bit, but it hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so bad. And I thought it was just like that thing where you wake up in the morning and it's like, you need to drink water because your throat is super dry and hurts. It's not. <laughs> but while I'm waiting, I'm going to do a science thing that I have to turn in. And I also thought it was from being the Grinch last night and talking like the Grinch, but I don't think so. What is going on in here? I'm hiding. Why? Because my throat hurts. What? I can't hear you. My left tonsil is extremely swollen. It's extremely swollen? Mm-hmm. You don't have like fever or anything like that? I don't know. Well, you're 7 million degrees, but I think you're super hot. Thanks. <laughs> I think you might be hot from sitting by the fire. I don't know. Do you I not like have cold chills or anything? A little bit, not really. Have you taken any medicine or anything for it? Does it hurt when you talk, when you swallow? Yeah. Danielle's tonsil is killing her. Just the left side. And she has big white things on her tonsils. <sighs> I dealt with this until I was, what, 23, 5, yeah. 6, yep. 7? Tonsils need to come out. Huh? When? It's a process, just like all Allie's going through. It's a process. You have to go to doctors enough to make them say, yep, yeah, your tonsils need to come out. Well, when can we start? Because it sucks. So the first thing we need to do is get her medication so that she can get feeling better. Get something in there now, though. The only, I'm going to be honest with you, and you're not going to like this answer. Nothing's going to help it except for pain medication. So if you take, like, a Motrin, did you try a Motrin? So try that, that will help the pain, because it hurts, right? It hurts when you swallow, it hurts when you breathe, it hurts when you talk. And it's not deep in your throat, it's like up and up, like up here, huh? Like, and it's painful and it goes all the way up your side of your head, right? I'm sorry, I really am. I like, I can completely and 100% sympathize and empathize and everything eyes on this. And it hurts in your eyes too. And your teeth. And yeah, your teeth. teeth hurt. This time of year is hard. We went out with some friends to dinner last night and their whole family has been sick for days and days and days, weeks and weeks, and then all of a sudden they just got sick again when they started feeling better. It's just that time of year. And I want to show you guys something. One of the biggest reasons why um, Sarah doesn't like winter and I don't like winter here in Utah, and part of the reason why Danielle is feeling the way she's feeling right now is while it looks like it's dark outside, it looks like it might snow, Pretty, pretty dark out here, it looks like it's cloudy. What that is, is really, is it's a blanket of smog. It's called inversion. It's literally a blanket of smog. There's been pictures that have gone out on the internet today, um, on the internet, isn't it so old school to say that? Of people flying in or out of Salt Lake City and showing this just, it looks like just a blanket that's over the valley and it's sun shining out there. It's beautiful out there. And it's not clouds, it's smog. It's, it's the inversion is what they call it and so, what that is, is it's smog. It's so, it's, it's affecting her and it's triggered this thing. 
and um, I won't go into high details on it because it's kind of gross, but really to, to put it out there is your tonsils are supposed to help you when you start getting sick. They're supposed to react and, and do certain things. Well, I have it, had it, and Branson has it now. Branson probably going to have to get his tonsils out, and Danielle now has, has it. And notice, me, Branson, and Danielle are the ones in this family that look and act the most alike, right? Yeah. Kind of have the same genes. It's overreacting, so what happens is it gets completely filled with this nasty, yucky stuff, which it's in there, right, Danielle? Is your breath bad? Probably. Do you have white things in the back? Yeah. Overreactive tonsils. Um, my daughter has a really swollen tonsil, and I need to see if I could get her in. Um, that would be great if we could. If not, we could do tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow at 1120. Mm -hmm. So eat some food, take some medicine, and hopefully that will help you start helping you feel better today. Sorry. Okay. What are you doing, Machikino? You're recording, you know? You can't do that. <laughs> you guys did part. There you go. Oh, wow. has been playing with the cell phone, like with the pictures on the cell phone, and he knows that if he goes his fingers like that, it gets bigger. If he goes his fingers like that, it goes smaller. And if he swipes it, it goes away. And so that's what he's trying to do with the, with the camera screen right now. He's like trying to pinch it so it goes smaller. <laughs> this is funny. This is what's happened. If I tickle myself, then you will laugh. Are you ready? You ready? If I tickle myself, are you ready? Try not to laugh when I tickle myself. Ready? <laughs> see? Did you see that? I tickled myself. No, you tickled me. No, 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 no. I tickled myself. Watch. I'm going to tickle myself. Go. Go. <laughs> oh no. See, I'm tickling myself. No, you won't. Who is that right there? You. Ah, I'm tickling myself. Oh, I love this happy little uh, head right here. Ah, oh, you're hurting me! Daddy, <laughs> daddy, daddy! I'm gonna tickle me! <laughs> So I've just been laying in front of the fire and now my right tonsil is starting to hurt a little bit. It's just getting sore and swollen and I looked and it has the white spots on it too. So um, now I have the two swollen hurting tonsils and that's fun. You probably don't even know what I'm saying right now because I sound absolutely sick. So I have the two tonsils. One of them is like extremely sore and the other is swelling up. It's so fun, and I have a live lesson right now, and I was supposed to call, but I texted her, and I was like, I can't talk. I know the kids are going to ask, as long as the backroom boys are there, they're going to ask for candy as soon as they get in the car. They always do, right? Which is not a bad thing. Today, I'm feeling a little heroish, so I brought the jelly beans with me to see if I can be a hero as soon as they get in the car and give them candy. Snack. Hop in guys, let's go. Hop in, hop in, come on. I'm butt cold. I'm butt cold. Here's the dress, here's You guys didn't even get in the car and ask for candy today. Probably because Az has candy, right? And Here's some for you. And Jakey wants Distribute, distribute. Tell me what you got, dude. Gingerbread house. Oh, that is it. skunk spray. Is this marshmallow? Oh, I like mm -hmm. it, dude. Out of a carton of milk? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, good job. Thanks for closing the door. As is famous in our house for doing what, Sarah? Leaving the front door wide Leaving open. Leaving the front door wide open. <laughs> Someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. Can I answer it? Yeah. took a Gatorade. There was a red Gatorade in here. And I think some chips. He did take a snack. Yes! What are you doing? What? What is that? My buddy. 
Huh? My money. Where did you get money? From you. What? <laughs> that was for Penny Wars. Well, I only had time to do one. So I keep these. What? I need three to buy something tomorrow. No, that's not how it works. <gasps> that's my money. Please, can I have just three? That's my money. No, it's mine. What, what do you need to buy with it? Something really special. What? A, a eraser puzzle. It costs three quarters. <laughs> mm. Find your keepers, losers, weepers. No. Listen, if you say finders, keepers, losers, weepers, then that means you're stealing the money from me and you're lying to me. Oh. But just can I have three, please, please, please? What do you think you should do first? Do you think you should steal it and lie? No. What should you do? Put it back. You need to give them all to me because they are my money. But just and then, I listen, you have to listen to me. Because if you say, here's your money, but I'm keeping three, that's still stealing. Say, here is all of your money. I would like to buy an eraser at school. Could I have three quarters? And then we'll see what I say. But you can't just say, I'm keeping three quarters because that's still stealing my money. Stealing is just when you take away stuff. Lying is when you say something that's, that's the wrong thing. Like, you're trying to say it, but you're just lying. Like. Is stealing being truthful? No. So anything as anything that isn't truth is lying. As is really uncomfortable with this conversation about lying and stealing because he wants to steal my money. He wants the money, but he if he recognizes that it's still that stealing is lying, then he has to recognize that he is lying. And so he's so uncomfortable with it, he's trying to be funny and silly. That's, that's, a try, that's a way to distract, is being funny and silly and thinking, well, if I'm laughing about it and you start laughing about it, then we don't have to, then I don't have to say that I lied. There's lots of ways that we distract from lying. All right, Az, let's talk about this seriously. How does it make you feel to think about lying? Sad. When I say, well, you're lying, by taking the money, how does that make you feel? Sad. Why does it make you sad? Cause lying is mean and stealing is mean. Mm -hmm. Now that you know that lying and stealing are the same things, does it make you want to do it? Nope. Why? Cause it's a mean thing. It's also not right. Uh huh. It's the wrong thing to do. Uh huh. If you have a choice between something and the thing that you choose makes you feel bad, it's probably the wrong choice, huh? Uh. Yeah, so whenever we choose something, when come on, dude. <laughs> whenever we choose something, we need to think about it and say, does this feel right? And if it does, it's probably a good choice. If it doesn't, and not feels good, because we can talk ourselves into things feeling good. Does it feel right? If it feels bad, or makes you sad, or makes your stomach kind of feel upset, things like that, then it's probably a wrong choice. Do you think you should say finders, keepers, losers, weepers and keep that money? Or do you think maybe you should find somewhere that you can take that wallet? Do the somewhere to take that wallet thing? Somewhere to take that wallet. Where do you think you could take it? Um, by asking the person who is who it is. But we don't know whose it is because there's no name in it. Um, we ask people. What if you're at the grocery store? Where do you think you should take it? You should probably take it to the front to the customer service, right? Uh -huh. So that people can go there and find their wallet that they lost. Uh -huh. What if you're by the police? Where do you think you should take that wallet? To the police. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't know whose money it is, you still shouldn't just say, okay, I'm gonna keep it. If you find a dollar laying in the street, what do you think you should do with it? Um, I don't know. Well, if there's no one else around and you didn't see it drop from anybody, 
you could probably keep it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense on how to choose which is right and which is wrong? It's hard. It is really hard. You have all of your life that you'll have to try and learn and figure out what is right and what is wrong. You know what I'm proud of? Mm -hmm. I'm proud that even though you were planning on keeping my money, you came and told me you were planning on keeping my money. That's what I'm proud of. You could have just kept it a secret and spent all that money and I never would have known that you spent that money. But you found that money and you came and said, I have this money, I'm gonna buy something at school. With three quarters. So even though you, didn't, you weren't planning on giving me the money, you still did something good by telling me you had the money. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's kind of confusing, huh? Yeah. It's kind of computed. It's like, how we? I'm proud of you, and you can have the three quarters. Yeah. How are you feeling? Not good. <laughs> why are you covering up your face? Because. Because why? Because I'm crying. <laughs> it's okay to cry. <laughs> oh. It is okay to cry. It hurts that bad. Have you taken any medicine? Why? Because I don't want to. Danielle, the medicine is the only thing that's going to help it to stop hurting so bad. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to then. If it's hurting so bad that you're crying, you need to get up and take some medicine. You're not going to stop hurting unless you take medicine. I mm know. -hmm. It's only going to get more and more painful. I decided I've never been skinny before. Lizzie. First time skating. First, First time skating. ice skating. I'm a little concerned though. Do you think any one of us is really going to be able to do a trick? No. Ah. Oh, don't fall. I'm not moving at all. I honestly forgot how much fun ice skating is. Oh, there's a mana. It's so much fun. We pretty much have this place to ourselves, just like me and just a few of the little kids. Any figure skaters out there? Any ice skaters that can say, Johnny, you're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to. Oh, you're not supposed to fall. I almost fell. Oh, I feel so bad that you guys didn't go to get to go see Evermore Park, Allie and Danielle and Masha Kino. Actually, Gigo, you would have froze your it bum was off. So cold. Your bum. You would have froze your bum off. Ah. Anyway, you. How do you feel, Danielle? You would have hated it. Because it was freezing cold. How are you feeling? I was feeling a little better for a while, but I'm kind of back to how I felt this morning. Let's see that your. Bad. Let's see this. This one's really They're bad over here. Which one's the worst one? Yeah. This one hurts more. Let's see, do it again here. It's swollen right there. Can you feel that, Sarah? Ooh, it's so swollen, Danielle. Yeah, look it's at this. It's hard one. as a rock. Oh, they're both bad. So this is what the doctor's gonna do tomorrow, and he might get that same look on his face, because that is, ugh. That's like hard as a rock. Feel mine. <laughs> feel mine. There's nothing there. <laughs> now feel yours. Oh my Allie has some incredible news. Some incredible news. You remember we picked up uh, Ella at the airport the other day? Missionary return, you remember that? Sarah's sister came home, and that was so exciting. So our missionary came home, and Branson's not home yet. Branson has. 120 days left is what it says on the calendar. Um, you have some information. You guys remember Adam? Adam's going on a mission. Adam got his mission call today. Do you guys remember Adam? You remember Adam, right? Adam, my best friend. Come on, you can't forget about Adam. So? He is going to serve in Canada. So cool. He gets to go to Canada for his mission for two years. It's also funny because he leaves six days before Branson gets home. That's crazy. So, so what are you going to do without... So I'll be an emotional roller coaster. You're going to be a wreck. The whole week. So what are you going to do without Adam for two years? I don't know what I'm going to do without Adam. Don't you talk to him every single day? Yes. It's going to be 
It's already hard with Carson only talking to Carson once a week. Only being able to talk to both of them only once a week is gonna be so hard. Maybe it'll be different P-Day though. Maybe. Maybe. So, how would you feel about me having a friend Christmas party? What do you mean a friend Christmas party? Tell me what that... Like last year where I had friends come over and we did like white elephant and then we hung out and played games and stuff. I think it's a great idea. I say so make it happen. The problem is finding a day when you can do it. Yeah, just find a day that works. It's gonna be the diff most difficult part, but I say it's a phenomenal idea. Cool. Have a white elephant gift exchange and I don't know, whatever it is that you guys do. Just so you know, Allie's been apprehensively coming to ask me this question all day and I always think it's gonna be this crazy like, oh no, what's she gonna ask me? <laughs> and then she asks something like that, it's like, pff. she's asking me if she can have fun with her friends? Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Just be responsible, right? Mm -hmm. Can we go to bed? <laughs> yes. Also, I got all my homework done. Good job. All so Allie crazy. ditched out on us tonight and Sarah gave her the decision to make and I left here probably sounding like I was angry. Um, and upset at the decision you made, and at, and your mom sounded like she was angry. But what is it that you was you were really supposed to be learning through that whole thing? Um, don't make your actions on people's feelings. That's right. Never make a decision based upon someone's feelings. So if your parents are going to be angry at you, and you feel you're supposed to do something, then have a talk with your parents and say, "This is what I'm supposed to do." So we gave Ali the choice to go with us or to and 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 work with us and have fun tonight or stay home and do her homework. And um, she said, I'm gonna stay home and do my homework. And so she thought that we were angry at her so she didn't really wanna make that choice. She was apprehensively making that choice. So she really wanted to just stay and do her homework and watch movies after her homework's done or whatever it is Actually, that they do. Actually, I didn't. I worked and did homework until you came home. But the whole thing is, is you, yeah. we all need to work to make sure that we're making decisions based upon what is right for us and not someone else's feelings. Sarah, we're working with Sarah because I am quick, quick to be an emotional person. And Sarah is unfortunately very quick to adjust to what she is and who she is to make sure that I don't get angry and I don't get upset and I don't get this and I don't get that. And it's not her job. Her job is to do what she's supposed to do and so she's doing a really good job of making decisions no matter how I feel about things. And so then I have to deal with my feelings, not her. It's really, it's a, it's a very powerful thing in life to understand that other people are in charge of their feelings and you're in charge of your own. So that's our message for tonight, guys. Make sure that you are in charge of your own feelings and that you are not adjusting who you are and what you're supposed to be doing for someone else's feelings. Because that right there is allowing that person to be very irresponsible with their feelings and um, some people get taken advantage of because they just completely go through life adjusting to make sure someone else is not unhappy. We choose ourselves to be unhappy and we choose ourselves to be happy. So today, from this point forward, make sure that you are choosing to be happy based upon who you are, not because somebody told you to be happy. Because that's fake happiness. We love you guys. And as always, and forever, ever, 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 you, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye. I'm Susan Nahri from Egypt, and you are worth it.